Hi, happy Thursday evening, everyone. We're here with Big Canvas again. Big Canvas is making progress. I should not put my water bottle in front of chat. That would be good. It is very big canvas. I've been excited for this like all week and I'm glad I waited instead of doing it like Monday or something, just to give myself a little bit of time to feel better. Because like I'm testing negative, but I was not sure about that earlier in the week. Oh, people are hitting 12, dang. Sorry, I'm trying to get this paint off here. Where's the spray bottle? Steven is making me some tea because it's a little chilly in this room and I think it would help. <clears throat> I can't believe people are hitting 12. This is ridiculous. Uh, we have a subscription from RetroLiz96, welcome. Eight months from Barbarian Rex. 11 months from Awkward Geek 1999. Uh, 12 months from Dark Overord. See, Chaz programmed it to have the clap emoji so I could remember um, multiples of 12, but I feel like we should do something different on my channel for that, but I haven't figured out what that is. <laughs> Terry says, year, go year goes by so quickly. It sure does. <laughs> One man draws this. It's like watching your kids grow up. All right, let's see. Dark Overward hit 12 months. We also have 12 months from Midi Night. Uh, 12 months from the YOLP and 12 months from Ultra Husk and maybe some more, but I can't scroll with this. Uh, we have an 11 month resub from Nun Shoes. 11 months from Brina BX. Three months from Lixren. Um, did I say 12 months from Ultra Husk? 12 months from Ultra Husk. 12 months from Storms 002. Five months from Circle Now Squared. Chess's clack paintbrushes. Uh, like drumsticks? Yay! <laughs> For all the 12s. We have a five month three sub from Circle Now Squared. Six months from Blue Hippie and uh, 2150 bits from LB who says, here, have all my bits. Well, thank you. They were a lovely little lavender color. It was a lot of paint drops. Now I have to keep these somewhere, Chess. Drum roll with the paintbrushes. I'm not good at that. And I'm sure that's a terrible noise on the palette. Only if Jared were here to judge your uh, brush clacking. Yeah, um, I know nothing about um, any mallet instruments. Brandon taught me um, the Steven grip which um, is like a, I don't know, mallet thing. And you hold things like this and like, it's like double. And then it's like, you have to like, I don't know. He pulled them out one day and was like, here, I'm teaching you this. And I I remember one, he was like, one is like turning a doorknob. And then um, I forgot the other one. Chess said, when it's cooking stream, you can clack the tongs. You're not wrong, Chess. We have 300 bits from the thrill of who says happy birthday to your stream. Thank you. It's a lovely magenta color. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called. I did three years of percussion. I played clarinet. <laughs> we have an 11 month resub from darkness bride and from somber 91. Thank you both. All right. Sprayed this, so I need to get a blade and get this off the palette. So, um, I was sitting here before stream and like, I took five minutes to like go get ready. And then I took five minutes of sitting here to like refill water. <laughs> Claire, that can be percussion if you do it wrong enough. Yeah. <laughs> sure remember hearing that like when I started, how bad it sounded. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, what do I have to do on this painting? What was next? I know I made notes. And then I looked down and I was like, oh yeah, I have notes. They're right here. They say, 
Hey Mal, finish the branches from five o'clock counterclockwise to 11 o'clock. So like from here all the way to here. So like this whole half, we need to add branches. That was the next thing me from a week ago, week and a half ago, a week ago, decided I was going to do. <laughs> hey Mal, it's Mal. So that's what I told myself. And then um, I wrote down yellow and brown, tiny individual leaves and consider darkening stuff. Those were my notes for myself. And I do that all the time when I paint. And sometimes I'll take a paint marker and I'll write on the palette, like I'll write out those notes for myself. But apparently I wrote them on the back of this piece of paper to help myself out. We had some gift subs, thank you. Uh, first off, we have a six month three sub from Elsemi82 and then an anonymous gifter gifted five subs and those went to Okari Fox, Zenith101, Sam Bradley03, Blue Circlet, and Jules Santana. Thank you for the gift subs. I'm really looking forward to this tea. All right, so in order to do these, what I need to do is I'm going to be using the paint marker for some and I'm gonna probably switch to a brush at some point for the others. So what I'm probably gonna do is start with a paint marker and we'll see how nice of a line I get and if I'm happy with it. And if I am not, we'll switch to brush. So what did my notes say, five o'clock? So if this is six, so from like about here so it's like this whole top corner of the canvas I need to work on. Those were my notes. And I feel like I did this, but not up here. <laughs> Cause like this is this guy and this actually starts like over here This will be fine. A lot of this ends up being um, covered in leaves. And that's fine. So like that one gets all the way out here and then this one does like a this. Yeah, this is exactly what I need to do because this will finish up. This is not my water. This will finish up the um, the branches here, and it's making me nervous, honestly, looking at them, because I'm like, ah, oh, where do they leaves all go? But there's no branches there to help me. So this guy goes that way. This one crosses here and goes up towards the moon. And in the picture, you can see they kind of go on top of the moon. Maybe you can see that. And I'm not sure I want to do that. I think I want to keep them a little bit back just to give it some space. I think so. We'll force that. So like this one would be the one that sits on top of the spoon. Where was I on this one? I just drew a part of it and then not the rest of it. Oh, I don't like that line at all. 
And they don't have to be straight, but like that one was a little weird because the pen got stuck in a ridge. That feels better. We have a 12 month resub from Boops Newt and Chaz decided we're hitting paintbrushes for that because it's a good idea. Thank you for hitting the ear. Trying to see where some of these sit. Like this guy is not just a single branch. He needs to have some side branches. Like that. And like some of these go down on top of this. Like this guy actually sits this way. like they sit there we have a nine month reset from sapphire becca thank you <laughs> renee says good evening leaf friends that's what we were doing tonight branches and then leaves because i left myself notes about it i don't like this i'm gonna have to switch to a brush for that part but we'll wait so i don't like let that paint dry out So now we're like, what was three o'clock? And we're trying to get up to 11. So it's like this corner. Oh, there's a branch that runs through this. And then this tree, really, this guy right here, this is the one that's going to be a lot of filling in. Cause like I did a lot with this already. So this one's kind of set. So it's just kind of in this area. <laughs> Are these just supposed to be scary sound effects? We'll fix that. I think this chair needs to be greased. It's like creaking. Also, I think this tree needs to sit in front. Where was I up here? <laughs> this is a song. So a lot of this tree here is actually quite filled in already. So I'm kind of happy about that. Now that I'm like looking at it against the picture. But there is a lot to fill in otherwise, like this guy needs to be filled in. You might say it's a happy little tree. Yeah. It's quite happy. I just think it needs a lot more branches than I have. Cause then it comes over this way goes up tall. Yeah, like, 
It just needs more chaos. Because that feels more like a tree than what I had. My tea here. Hello. Thank you. Um, it can go on this, but I want it to be in reach, like there. Okay. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna bring you this this tea. Wow, what a cool mug. Yeah. Jeez, what, Ma Mal, where did you get this mug? Did you from get this, my own store? Did you get this from malmerch.com? I sure did. Wow. Is that Suzuki Castle? Amazing! What a cool mug that you that can be got on the that internet. Can be got. Can be acquired. Renee has the Auto Chaz link for you all. Amazing! Such a cool mug. You see the painting? Have you seen it? You weren't here last week. No, it's amazing. Thank you. What are you working on? Yeah. Branches. More branches? Yeah, finished branches from 5 o'clock, which is about here, yeah. because that's right side up, to 11 o'clock, counterclockwise. Yes. And then um, yellow and brown. And then I wrote tiny individual leaves. And then consider darkening stuff. Those were my notes from last week that I left for myself. Man, this is a pretty layered... But, like, that's kind of it for what I need to do. Yeah, it's a pretty layered painting. It is. So, All right. yeah, that's where I'm at. Well, have at it. <laughs> I, made, I made myself a coffee uh -huh. right before I made your tea. Yeah. So I gotta go see if my coffee's still hot. Okay, like, this is very hot. Well, the tea, first you gotta microwave water for three minutes, and then you have to steep the bag for five minutes. Uh huh. Then you gotta take the bag out, and then you gotta put honey in it, then you gotta stir it. So uh -huh. like, tea takes like nine to 10 minutes. Uh huh. Coffee does a uh, fast. We don't. We don't have like a. I mean, kettle. what I do is I just run the Keurig without it in there. Anytime we ever bring up microwaving water, there's always at least a few people that are really confused. But like, we don't. This is America. We, do, <laughs> we don't use. We had a kettle for a while and we never used it. And yeah. I don't particularly want one because we don't. Ha a big use for it. No, I mean, you want if you want the water to be um, hot, hot uh -huh. you can put it in the microwave. Yeah, and it just it makes it hot. The other thing is we're only ever making like one cup of tea. Yeah, that's the other thing. A kettle would be great uh -huh. if you drank tea all day, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Or if you had a, a several people in the home that wanted tea simultaneously, but. Um, that doesn't, we don't, we don't do that. All right, I'm gonna go back to editing. Bye. Back to the editing minds. That is way too hot to drink. Point, I feel like I'm just kind of making up trees. Like, I'm not trying to look at the photo as much because there's just too much. And I just want to have a mess of these branches here.
Like that feels right. That feels better. And now we're gonna rotate again. Yeah, that's right. Cause like this part. Sometimes the texture of the canvas makes the paint marker like pop and like explode everywhere, which is what just happened. I think that's what I want for all of this. Cause I filled in all of this last week. This guy is looking pretty good. This guy is looking pretty good. This guy comes over here. Yeah, now all I wanna do is take a marker, or a, not a marker, a brush and make this part thicker. Cause I can only do so much with this tiny paint marker. Get in losers, we're going rotating. Radiodroids as I say this as I stare angrily at the clothes on the washing machine through the glass. I just bought some new laundry soap and it was supposed to be here today and it's delayed. I have that sweater that Lunar Pearl knit me and I was like, what should I wash this in? I really like the smell of whatever you, um, blocked it with and she was like this is what I use so I ordered some it's not here yet yesterday it was like today or tomorrow I'm like sure okay Radio Dread says speaking of clothes you want to know what I did I took today's breakfast stream as inspiration I did some spring cleaning in my closet that's awesome I love to hear that. That is great. I thought about going through more stuff today. Cause like, I don't know, there's closets I could go through that are, um, like the linen closet. That could use a good, like, check. I'm trying not to get my hand in any of this black paint. All right, if that goes that way, there's a tree branch that sits here. like this little part that I accidentally brought too close to the other one but um when I put more leaves down later the yellow and such I'll just cover that right up
Now this tree over here, like some of this ends up getting covered, but some of it comes forward. We have a 12 month resub from Never Challenge the Chat. Thank you. See, I just feel like overall I could use less stuff in my life. So I do like to just like occasionally go through and like get rid of a ton of stuff. Lately, what I've wanted to do is take a garbage bag and then just like go around the house and get rid of things. Maybe two, one for like donating and one for like trash. And we also have a seven month three sub from DTRAN. Thank you. Renee says, I need nice clothes and Fawcett says 80% are now too big for me. Like that's part of my problem. Like I want nice clothes and I want to replace my wardrobe because things don't fit me anymore. So I'm trying to be like, okay, well, I don't wanna go out and buy a ton at once because I don't wanna buy a bunch of things that I don't love. So I'm trying to like buy a couple things here and there. Like today I bought a pair of pants, we ordered them and we're gonna see if they fit and if I like them, if not, I'll just return them. So. All right, the good news is, is I finished branches. So I can cross this off my list, finish branches. Next is yellow brown. Renee says, maybe set aside a little allowance and buy a few new pieces every month. That's what I was thinking about like two months ago. Um, and then I got sick. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh shoot. So now what's going to happen is, um, that'll happen later. <laughs> So I can worry about that another time. There's also a company I like that's having a sale this weekend and I'm planning on buying some things. <laughs> They're just kind of like face layer stuff. Renee says, I hate clothes shopping. I like get panic attacks. So I'm forcing myself to get like one nice piece a month. I think that's a good goal. Uh, I like clothes shopping, but um, I get tired of running around everywhere. So if I go into a store, I don't particularly want to go into more stores later. I'm just like, get it all done at once. There was one point we went into a store, this was like over a year ago with Alex and Haley and there was a shirt. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try the shirt on. And I wasn't there for clothes shopping, Alex was. And I went and tried on the shirt and I was like, ooh, I like this. So I bought it. Which is the ideal way for me to get clothes is like every so often I'm like, this one thing that I like at this store is nice. And like, I did that sort of recently. I was on Poshmark and I had found a dress I really liked. And I was like, oh, I like this dress. And there's a wedding I'm going to much later in this year. And I was like, this would be a good dress for that. And the person who had it, it wasn't in great condition, but I found someone else who was selling the same dress in the same size, but it was in nicer condition and it was cheaper on Poshmark. So I bought that. So I have this dress that I really, really love and I got for quite cheap and it's like brand new seeming. 
We have a seven month resub from Breathe Wildly and 10 months at tier two from Sage of Stars. Thank you. Thank you both. The dress I got for the wedding is uh, navy blue with um, like, it's an empire waist, so it starts like a high waist, um, like higher than your natural waist. And it's navy up top, and then it fades to more of a, oh, that's not the right blue. Um, like a royal blue, like this color blue way over here. So it fades from like the waist down to that and it's floor length. And then the top is the navy blue with gold lace on it. It's really pretty, I really love it. And I got it for like 50 bucks used cause it was a lot more new. So I'm very happy about it. And now I am like looking on Poshmark for different things. <laughs> that I can get used. An old friend getting married? No, it's a family member. I have a cousin getting married. All right, I need to mix up um, yellow brown colors. And I think I want to start with yellow. I think so. Moose says Mercari is great too. Yeah, I haven't looked around in Mercari too much because there's just a lot on both. But I do know that that also exists. I don't want to like buy too much at once. Steven won't be thrilled. We have an 11 month resub from Beatcal. Thank you. So I'm looking for a yellow that is um, somewhere between the lightest green I have on here so far and yellow, but kind of like rusty, but also kind of um, like not this yellow, this is too bright. So we got to change this. <laughs> Renee says, I mean, the man also needs to get some outfits. Haley did send him a pair of pants today and say, buy these. And he did. We'll see if they fit. All right, so I will also need, I probably need everything because I need to tone this down. <laughs> Bribe him with pretzels? We just had pretzels. What night was that? Tuesday night? Was that the night we had pretzels? Red. All right, so I have a lot of yellow and I'm just gonna make it a touch greener. And then we're gonna tone down the saturation and make it like slightly muddier. So opposite of green is red and opposite of yellow is violet. So it's going to kind of be mostly red, but like a touch of violet to tone down this color. Where's my sketchbook? Let's swatch some of this. So there's that color. This is like spring green crayon, like it's so like yellow green. I've done a good job in making mud. So 
So that looks slightly orange. How do I feel about it next to this green? It looks pretty yellow. At least next to this green. Which is where? I don't have it swatched. Oh yeah, this is way too... Not the right green at all. So we need to go more towards yellow-orange. This makes me want to play Animal Crossing, but I think I just want a new Animal Crossing. Uh, Tune asks, is this canvas being sold or is it going to someone? Um, I'm not sure exactly yet because I need to look at some stuff for shipping because it is large. Also, where did the little one go? This one is nowhere near as done. I need to work on this probably next week sometime. The little one, I did that one week, the grease eye. This one, when I am done with it, will look more like this because these leaves are going to get tapped in like this is on top of the leaves. The only thing done on here is this guy. So one of these is going to go on eBay. I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> they will both be on Redbubble. So if you missed the week I worked on that little one, that's the grease eye. It's um, the matching piece to this. Like they're kind of twins to each other. This is still too yellow. It's not much different than what I had. Okay. That means a lot more red needs to get added. Charlotte says, oh, I missed the smaller one. Here, let me hold it up longer so you can look at it while I'm mixing color. So it is very similar to this. Like they were taken the same night on the same trail. made this a lot more orange. And I think it's too orange, but um, sometimes you have to go with what you see and not with, with what your brain thinks, which is how I was taught to draw originally. It was like, hmm, you know what an apple looks like, but you're not seeing it. This is so much closer. See how orange that is? We went from like this spring green color, like this one, and then we're into an orange. When Parthia says, I hope the next Animal Crossing takes cues from New Leaf while keeping the high customization. New Horizons is fun, but also feels kind of, feels empty kind of. Um, I know things were added since I last played, but um, based on when I stopped playing and how I f feel about it, that's how I feel about New Leaf. I'm sorry, New Horizons and New Leaf. Like, I feel like a combination of both would be ideal. Why did I get more red? I'm trying to make this, um... What am I trying to do with this? Just add a touch of blue.
trying to determine if this feels right. I think so. Okay. Got to cover up all the little paint puddles of the colors I'm not using. All right. This one needs to go somewhere where I won't accidentally mess it up. And we can go back to tapping leaves with this color. What was I using? This seems right. This guy. Maybe this guy. I feel like this green one was it. but it also feels too small. Maybe I was using this bigger one. We'll start with this. Um, so some of these are going to be brown where they kind of overlap and um, don't let any of the moonlight get through. That's where they end up brown. And we're gonna start way over here. And I think this is what's gonna make it start to really look like autumn because like this, yeah, was definitely like autumn and I started to add in this and this helped a lot. But I think this is where, when I start to fill in all of this, it's really gonna start to come together for that. We have a six month resub from Charlotte Dante. Thank you. Kepi emote. Charlotte says, I'm excited about Stardew 1.6. I haven't read anything about it. One of the things I wanted for Stardew and that I thought would be a good addition was for um, like things to change. Like some things change as the game progresses and it's been a long time since I've played. So I honestly don't know if they've changed anything since then. But like when you help people improve their lives and things get better for them, like I wish more changed in the world as time went on. What I'm trying to do is look at this upside down and I need to not do that. There's going to be a lot of this color. <laughs> I know it. And I regret putting this here because that doesn't actually belong there. Oops. That's fine. I have a little bit of that green. 
take that back? I don't. I thought I did. Because it was a little squishy under the plastic. It is not. We'll just, um... That worked enough. Okay. I can live with that. Now I'm trying not to judge myself too harshly on some of these leaves in this area because um, when I start adding in the brown, it'll start to come together because right now it's just kind of yellow dots. And wherever, like, this area is, is where I need to be the most particular about it. So that's kind of a pain. for three-ish. was a little bit too much paint on the brush, but I can kind of use it to just pick a little bit of it up and then keep spreading it out. If I just keep tapping on top of it. And I'm moving down here because I just drew in this branch and it's wet. <laughs> so I don't want to mess it up.
Etsuki says, with Stardew, I feel like it's a fairly complete story. There's no areas that are incomplete. I think updates mainly just making things a bit deeper. Um, yeah, I feel like the story is complete. I just wish the world changed a little bit, I guess. All right, so with these pines, we see yellow up until about here. And this does get covered in by yellow. Do we hear Stephen cough? Yeah, Stephen is still sick. We haven't seen some of our friends in a very long time. Because he was starting to be symptomatic three weeks ago. Let's see. There should be some hints of this yellow down in here. And some hints out into here. But the majority of it is throughout this area. This guy gets covered quite a bit. Oops. <laughs> All right, this is probably dry enough. Yes, I can go back to doing these leaves. And I'm trying to make them a little bit more leaf shaped on these edges so you can see them a little bit more. And because this is yellow, yellow is so transparent that um, I'm gonna probably have to build this up with some other yellows. Trying to stick to these branches for where they all go so I can see some of the other stuff through it. Need a mental break from these leaves for a minute. Or grab some tea. Circle Now Squared says, what does Danny even look like? He looks like that emote. I think, maybe. And I know I talked about it on breakfast stream, but I wanna go bike riding. Maybe tomorrow. A 
Renee says, gentle, slow bike riding. <sighs> Am I capable of that? I'm not sure. It has been a while since I've gone, so um, hopefully I just don't push myself too hard because I know my stamina and my muscles and my cardiovascular fitness is uh, injured from having COVID and being sick. It'll get better, but it's not great yet. Today I got an email about stray children because it's the uh, American Onion Games newsletter and they were like, hey, Stray Children is coming. Thanks for your support. Renee says, have a nice leisurely ride and see the sights. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> uh, Randy says, have the random heart rate spikes calmed down now that you've tested double negative? For the most part, yeah, they're becoming more and more infrequent. Like, um, sitting around, like, on the couch, because I've been playing Twilight Princess, or, um... <laughs> you thought I meant stray children, like, the neighborhood stray children? <laughs> I mean, it seems like they're kind of stray children as they play out in the streets at all hours and... without any supervision. But yeah, my heart rate stuff kind of calmed down. Um, I did go for a short walk this afternoon and... evening. It was right before I streamed and I had to like slow down near the end of it. I was like, oh, I'm pushing myself too hard. So hopefully I don't bike too hard. I probably won't. <laughs> you love stray kids in the neighborhood? I don't know, they go around like throwing rocks and selling rocks at like their little lemonade stand. seems like they're stray children because they're just around all the time. <laughs> Renee says, my children are strays in the summer. They go outside and I don't see them. <laughs> Have I not told the story? Some kids on like the street went to um, like the drainage ditches and they just pick up rocks and then they like have like a little lemonade stand table and sell rocks. I have no idea. Renee says, that's kind of cute. I wish there was a little bit more to it than that. Like they had painted them or done something, but no, they're just rocks they go find that I'm sure the um, HOA is not happy about and they like throw them down the hill and try and sell some of them. <laughs> Renee, I'd rather them sell than throw. They do throw them. They end up like just in the middle of the street and some of them are quite large. Like some of them are like this big. So like you don't want to hit it with your tires. But um, they've been going to um, the leech pond we have and uh, tossing them down the hill. There's like 30 rocks that are like this big that they've tossed. I'm just waiting for the HOA to come knock on my door and be like, what's this? And I'll be like, we have no kids. Go talk to our neighbors with kids. Renee says, do I need to come mom voice them? Maybe. Tiger Tiger says, the leech pond? Um, leech as in like draw water from. Like if you have a wet sponge and put it on a blanket, the water will leach into the blanket. That kind of leech. Not the blood sucking kind of leech. So what it is, is it's basically a field that is meant to get swampy and hold water so it doesn't like flood things. And then the water can slowly go down into the ground instead of like other places. It's like an engineered stormwater management system. Yeah, leech with an A. My dad actually has one too, 
um, the vlog where I was in Wisconsin last and I went and picked a bunch of um, black raspberries and like mulberries and stuff. Um, like where those were, that's also a leech pond. <laughs> an artificial flood plain, essentially, Tactician says. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's an artificial flood plain. <laughs> hey, Stray Kids, let's go swim in the leech pond. <laughs> <laughs> that got me. The tea is getting cold, so I need to finish it. It's like lukewarm. All right, we were painting a million leaves. Back to this. Um, let's see. I'm just kind of looking at where I need to get. Like, I feel like this area, this is the same color, perfect. Um, could use just a little bit, but I feel like this area over here is kind of done. Yeah. Like, I'm happy with this, that can stay. This guy needs a lot of work. Um, I brought too much of this light green and I need to bring a lot more dark into this tree. This guy, this one that has no leaves at all, gets very few leaves. So like, that needs work. But it'll make me happier if I do the majority of it here. <laughs> Renee says we're just gonna have to have a a group of menacing adults. Um, one of the days, one of the older kids was throwing rocks in like a puddle and making the younger ones stand around the puddle to get soaked. Um, they got yelled at for that. So they finally noticed then and I think they told them to stay away because I haven't really seen them down there lately. These are the same kids who um, were very excited about uh, Jepson's pinata that then had to have their own pinata for their birthday. These are the same kids. <laughs> their pinata was filled with rocks. They'd probably like that, honestly. But they should not stand below it when they're hitting it. Let's see. This guy. I hear editing going on in the other room because Steven is talking, but it's not loud enough to be his actual voice. We have a 10 month resub from All Dat Jazz. Thank you. Renee says he is being a good productive bean. He is. He really wants to get caught up. It's been frustrating that he can't right now. And he is frustrated about it.
I'll just throw one of these on top of this branch. I feel like there's not enough of this in here. Yeah, brown is going to definitely help this. Radio Dread, said, Radio Dread said, maybe one of the six vlo sick vlogs will finally beat the free look in terms of how short it is. 40 seconds and he's done it. I don't know what he filmed when he was sick. I mean, I was sick for a lot of it too, so I don't really remember any of it. So it's definitely a possibility. This needs to get filled in yellow. And I did too much right here, but um, that's fine because it's going to get brown later. We have an 11 month resub from Statman 11 or 7. Thank you. See, where else do I need to add some yellow? In here. Now this tree doesn't have a ton of stuff either on it. Like this one has even less than this guy. And some of these are actually green, so I'm just going to go over them later with some green.
Was this supposed to have a bunch of branches connecting it that I never drew in? I think so. Okay, we'll fix that. Because these are kind of like just floating leaves over here. Some of this goes a lot faster when I'm not trying to figure out where they're going on branches. And I like that. <laughs> We're getting there with yellow. Alright, the last thing for the yellow is this guy.
And we didn't get to any of the brown yet, which I think is going to make this part really come alive. But everything else is starting to come together. XD Symphony says, I swear I only looked away for a few minutes to put some dishes away and all that yellow got there. There's a lot of yellow there. All right, this one has mostly brown and orange, less yellow, but there are a few yellows. I should have fixed this guy. That's what I should have done. I think that's pretty good for yellow. So I'm gonna take some of that and save it. Then we're gonna turn this green. I mean, not green, brown. And because this was a little dried out, it's a little bit chunky. <laughs> it's not as smooth. And this is not the darkest brown I'm going to have on some of these. This one just gets um, put into a few places. salsa. Oh, I have chips and salsa for later. For dinner I had some of that soup that Alex had made when we were all sick. Steven and I froze it because we couldn't finish it all. But um, that's what we had for dinner. We thawed some of it and made some more rice. getting these big chunks of paint on the brush. I don't want that. I need them to be tiny and delicate. So I can put some of these tiny individual leaves. Because like this guy just has a few. And it's not quite as brown, I think, as I want. Yeah, it's still kind of yellow. On top of the blue sky, it gets a bit more brown, but when it's on these other colors,
needed to make a darker brown for a few of these. feels pretty good. That tree. Luxrin says, I'm curious if there's an intended orientation this painting is supposed to be viewed at. It looks balanced so well it could be any direction. Um, I agree it could be any direction. Um, the photo is this tree top left. And like, maybe it's because that's how I've been working, but that feels right to me. Like, That feels right to me, but it could be anyway. Nunchu says it would work so well hung on the ceiling. I mean, there's tapestries on Redbubble. So when this goes up, that would be a cool thing. All right, so I have that color. And I don't think this is dark enough now that I have it here. I don't particularly want to listen to the farmer in the dell. How we get angry birds, yeah. All right, I've mixed a darker brown. Yeah, this is helpful.
I'm trying to put the brown where the leaves are like touching each other. So like where they overlap. I'm darkening some of these individual leaves too. Because there's like dark through here for them. That helps a lot. I don't know, sometimes I'm not thrilled with my paintings and then I'm like, no, just keep going. Just wait, don't judge it yet. Trust the process. Yeah, like Radio Dread, trust the process. And sometimes you have to step away and be like, hmm. Maybe I should just not look at this for a little bit because I am angry at it. And I'm not angry at it yet, but sometimes that's what you have to do. We have a 12 month resub from Sakura Celica. Paintbrush clicks. Congrats on a year. But we're getting to the good part of the painting where I feel like it's starting to look complete in areas. Where I'm like, oh, this part is done. I don't have to do anything over here. Like this part would be done, but I have to fix it. Like this part would be done, but I have to fix it. But like down here is done and up here is done. And we have an 11 month resub from Shy. Thank you. I think I also need to mix a darker brown. I don't think this is the last one I need to add into here. I'm working like in this area. I'm just gonna cover that up. I think I might be also selected with a little bit of a lighter orange on some of this. Just putting it on a couple spots. because these are all the same color up here. So once you start to bring in some variation, they start to really look good.
Oh yeah, it was supposed to <laughs> put some branches in here. Whoops. That works. Just enough to be a hint of it. We got an 11 month resub from Valix Butterfly, thank you. I was thinking like, you know, I'm not gonna finish these leaves tonight. And I may not. What may happen is I may be like, I think I might be done. And then next week I'll be like, mm, I'm not done. But um, there's less and less that I need to be adding every round. So like the yellow took me a while, but the brown took me not as long. So I'm like, oh dang, some quick progress. Alex says, it's been a week. Hopefully being here will take my blood pressure down a few notches. I hope so. I have had high blood pressure too. Like, not necessarily this week. I do get it a lot though. We have an 11 month resub from Snowy Satoru. Thank you. Kaze says, I just got off work myself, relaxing a smidge before I install Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Maybe someday I will play one of those games. I've tried a few times, I've just never really gotten into it. Alex gifted a sub to Silent Companion. Thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate that. So I'm trying to darken up this area because some of these leaves like end up having the overlap and then the moon doesn't come through them all the way.
Mm. Trying to also fade it into this green a little bit so it looks more natural. No, don't do a line, do a whole dot. There we go. Hmm. Are we at two hours? Yeah, we're just about at two hours. But like I said, I'm getting to a point where I'm like just about ready to be good with leaves, or at least for today, because that it'll give me some time to think about what I've done for like a week. Which is good. Oh, two hours to install Final Fantasy. Well, I'm almost at painting two hours, too. 151, Radio Dread says. Mm-hmm. I grabbed the wrong brush. That was a script liner. Okay, I mixed up a more yellow yellow to bring in just a little bit. Oh, you can't see that at all. That's because it's titanium white, or it needs titanium. It is too transparent. So we will fix that right away. This doesn't make a whole lot of difference, I feel like, um, until I have it all done.
just to bring in a little bit of this highlight throughout here. This is just a little bit too much over here. Okay. I need to update my to-do list for what I need to do next week. We'll talk about that. First off, I want to roll my Patreon ticker and say a thank you to all my patrons. Thank you for your support over on patreon.com slash malmakes. Um, you can go check out the links that Fossex has for you and check out what the benefits are. You can also support Steven. Um, both discords for either of us go to the same discord. So at the $10 level, you can support either of us and end up on our discord. We have a lot of lovely, great people over there. But I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Um, what else is going on? Let's talk about what I'm going to do next on this painting. Actually, let me cover up these colors so I don't lose them. Because I might want them next week. Brown. And other brown color. All right, so what I want to do next in this painting is um, I think I wrote down tiny individualized leaves, but I did those. So this guy over here, this tree, I need to fix. That's the big one. Let's call that, um, this is like 11 o'clock, so let's call that the 10 o'clock tree. without putting this in paint. Sketchbook save me. <laughs> Luna Gazer gifted a sub to Swift for Sweeper. Thank you for the gift sub. It's always very sweet when people give gift subs. All right, so the 10 o'clock tree, I need to darken slash fix it. Um, mm, how do we feel about leaves? 
overall. Um, what else? Darken outer edges. And then I might want to put a couple single stars because a lot of them have gotten lost and I can still see one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I want to add more? I may not want to add more. So I'll write stars question mark. So this tree needs to get fixed because it's um, very dark compared to this guy. So it needs to get darkened. Um, and then I need to think about how I feel about the leaves overall, if I need to make any changes. I want to darken some of these outer colors to bring down a little bit on the edges. And then I want to think about stars, but um, I can already tell you right now that I don't want to add any more. So I'm going to cross that out. We have an 11 month resub from Maya Hello. Thank you. And 12 months from Brandon. Brandon, oh no, I got paint on this brush. Um, we decided we're clicking paint brushes for sub anniversaries. Because people are hitting 12 months today, which is wild. That's very cute. It was Chaz's idea. I was talking earlier about the grip you taught me with the, with the, and you were like, it's like turning a door handle. And I can't remember anything else about it, except you hold multiple mallet sticks. We also have 12 months from Starry Phoenix. You also get paintbrush clicks. Yeah, I remembered it was called Steven's Grip. Thank you, Starry Phoenix, for mallet percussion. All right, so I made my notes for next week. Let's very carefully not set this on paint. What's going on? It's Thursday, so that means tomorrow we're playing Zelda over on Steven's stream at that time that we play that game. Eight. We start a little bit early for reading alerts, but we start playing around eight. Um, what else is going on? Nothing this weekend. We will have a normal breakfast stream on Tuesday. Um, we were playing Moon on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, and if you haven't been watching that, you should catch up and watch that because we have, uh, we're in like the last quarter of the game and there's some fun stuff coming up and I've been really enjoying playing Moon. It's been very different than things we've played in the last few years. So it's been exciting to play something like that. I've really been enjoying it. Um, otherwise I will be streaming next week sometime. I couldn't tell you exactly when. Um, are there any days that it's not going to be for sure? It's not going to be Tuesday for sure. Um, it could be multiple days. I don't have a whole lot going on next week. So <laughs> I'm still thinking about how power went out during Flappy Bird. Yeah, the power did go out during Flappy Bird on Tuesday. That was fine. But do we have a raid message? And who is up streaming right now? Paintbrush clacking. Josh is going. All right, we can raid Josh. Um, Josh is playing Splatoon 3 and we are going to raid Josh with Click Clack Paintbrush because um, I like that a lot. Click Clack Paintbrush. So thanks everyone for being here. Um, hope to see you tomorrow on Steven's channel for Zelda. And go tell Josh Click Clack Paintbrush. Have a good night. Thanks, Chaz, for sending the raid. This is the new mode, right? I think this is the new mode he's playing. Oh, I, I think my mouse is dead. <laughs> His mouse is dead. Hi, Josh. I knew he would say that. I knew it. How did I know that? <laughs> All 
All right, thanks everyone for being here. I hope you have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.